Here we have the outside of the Caravalair Allegra Home 560. If we firstly come to the front gas locker, we have room in here for two gas bottles. The regulator just sits here and then the hose comes off the regulator and then screws into the propane bottle and is tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off on the top. Do make sure that the bottle is isolated for travel. Also in here we have the corner steady winding handle, a spare wheel, As we come round we then have the external barbecue point. To use this, attach your hose to the barbecue point adapter, which is a little brass spear about this long. Make sure that it is connected and secured with a Jubilee clip. And then you can plug the end in where my finger is here, and this will then allow you to turn the gas on and off. To remove the barbecue adapter just push the collar towards the caravan and it will then release. Next we have external TV and satellite points. We also have 12 volt continental point and a mains continental point. As we move along we then have the electric step which is operated on the switch just here. If we then just go underneath the caravan, there are small little chocks clipped up just here. So if you are parking the caravan on a hill, you can put these in front or behind the wheels to stop it from rolling away. We then have the vent for the fridge freezer. We don't really need to do anything with these, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it and do not spray a lot of water at it when washing the caravan. We then have the header tank fill for the toilet. So pop your pink toilet chemical in here if you want to and then top the rest up with water. Never travel with this completely full or it will slosh about everywhere and make a mess inside the caravan. So if we now actually come to where the cassette sits, if we need to drain the header tank down, we have the hose just here. Just pull the bung out the end to drain down. We then have the cassette itself, lift up and pull towards you. Before use, add your toilet chemical with a small amount of water. Cassette also empties from here as well. Just remember that when you pour it away, that you hold this button in just here to release the vacuum inside. It's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated. Fetford do their own seal lubricant, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. This is also a nice quick and easy way of giving the cassette a good clean. If you do need to get right inside, you can rotate this whole section. You will see we're in the locked position just here. This arrow needs to meet with this part just here, and then you can remove. This is extremely handy, especially if any debris gets wrapped around the float mechanism inside, giving you a false reading that the cassette is always full. All of these are now on wheels with extendable handles.
We then have access underneath the rear bed. As we now come round to the back, any grey water drops out at this point just here. As we now come round to the other side, you can see that I've actually removed one of the chocks that sit underneath. We then have the red isolator key point for the PowerTouch Evolution motor mover. Mains hook up just here. The flue for the Truma combi boiler. We do not need to do anything with these particular flues. Just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. To fill the onboard fresh water tank, just remove the cap, pop in your hose pipe just here. And on this particular model, we also have a direct feed via a hose pipe. So as you can see, it just attaches on a hose lock just here. If you are using the direct to tap feed, as I am at the moment, you do not need the water pump on inside. The only time you need the water pump on is if you are using the onboard water tank. 